Hello, I am Dr. Sangeeta Gomes, Consultant Obstetrics, Gynecology and Infertility, Bangalore, India. Changes in blood pressure after delivery can be either high blood pressure or low blood pressure. High blood pressure due to gestational hypertension or preeclampsia that persists after delivery and takes nearly six weeks to recover. Sometimes the tissue fluid enters into the arteries from the swollen tissue legs etc. after IV fluids or certain injections taken during delivery like pain medications and some drugs used to contract uterus to prevent postpartum hemorrhage. These extra fluid which gets into the arteries from the swollen tissues can also add on to causing high blood pressure. So the person has to regularly maintain her blood pressure recording two to three times a day and maintain a record to show to her doctor. Salt restricted diet, she should have a good sleep, she should do meditation, yoga, take food rich in magnesium, potassium, de-stress herself by doing pranayama. But should reach the emergency ward of the hospital if she is experiencing sudden high rise of blood pressure with headache, blurring of vision, nausea, vomiting, epigastric pain. This could be a dangerous sign as she can throw a fit or a convulsion. Low blood pressure can be due to dehydration, anemia, not properly taking food, not properly drinking water, excess vomiting or use of high blood pressure medicines. Please meet your obstetrician or physician to rule out other causes if the high blood pressure persists.